my top 10 horror movies of all time. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little review on my top 10 horror movies of all time. Now, this video was actually posted on my second channel, a channel I kind of gave up on just because I already don't post every day here. So might as well just post the new stuff I want to post with my normal stuff. So this was a video I actually spent a good amount of time um, editing and working on. I'm actually gonna try to do my top 15 favorite horror movies next later on, but this is kind of like my first entry. So when I make that second one, you can kind of see where I've grown from. Let's jump right into the top 10. Now, number 10 is The Curve also known as Dead Man's Curve. This movie came out in 1998, one of the most least known movies that's gonna be on this list, and it's one of my favorites. It's in the vein of horror. I don't really wanna get into the exact details of the body count of the movie because it kind of will give away aspects that happen later on in the movie. It is kind of like a horror movie and kind of like a mystery and a few other things. This movie had one of the best endings that I've ever seen out of any movie ever. The whole movie kind of rides on this ending, so you could be bored with the whole movie and not like the ending and you just hate this movie to me the movie had some boring parts but the ending was absolutely fantastic it's about a 10 or 15 minute kind of montage with music going in between two different stories at two different time frames I just really, really enjoyed The Curve and Dead Man's Curve. I watched a lot of movies that were related to Scream after I watched Scream because I just loved Scream. So this is the only one that's kind of in the vein of Scream that is input on this list. I'm, these are my two classic slashers. Again, I could probably find some more if I'm looking really hard, but it was a tie between the first Halloween and Friday the 13th part four. I really, I've always liked Jason a lot more than Michael Myers, I don't know why. I watched all the Jasons and they were okay. Okay, but I gotta say the very first Halloween was probably a better shot, more well-rounded movie than any of the Friday the 13th. But that being said, I also really do like Friday the 13th, and I think the best, most well-rounded version of that was Friday the 13th Part 4. So this is a tie between the first Halloween and Friday the 13th Part 4 for the classic slasher, my favorite one for right now. Number eight, and I know it's kind of controversial, people don't really like this movie or it's, you know, played out, but I gotta go with Insidious. This one's one that I watched in theaters, and and I actually watched uh, Paranormal Activity right when it came out in theaters. I really enjoy Paranormal Activity for the very first viewing. I can understand repeat viewings, there's not much happens. But then I ended up watching Insidious and I felt like Insidious was almost like a better version of Paranormal Activity in every way. Now I know it's only PG-13 and it's been done to death. I would say the very first one's by far the best. I just absolutely love it. The very first one features that black bride and then the second one they make her not a black bride but to me I just like keeping the way the very first film feels and I like and picturing that person as like a an evil black bride versus what she ends up becoming in the second one. I mean the second one's okay but the first one was the best in my opinion. One of my favorites of all time. Number seven sci-fi horror one I'm going to go with is The Thing. Now this one's one that I actually watched recently too. It was probably about three or four months ago and I just absolutely Absolutely loved this film. To me, it felt like it didn't age at all. It was probably the most ageless film almost I've ever seen. Now, upon rewatching it, I could tell a little bit with the music and stuff, it is a little bit aged. But the very first time I was watching this, I absolutely loved it. And I didn't notice till now, but there's been other movies that have a very similar premise, like The Faculty from 1998. I ended up watching The Faculty afterwards, and it kind of ruined it because The Faculty is so similar to The Thing. But The Thing is just an absolutely one of the best movies. I'd always heard about it and I always wrote it off for some reason. It's one you have to see if you enjoy a very, very good movie. I remember I was watching it on my laptop at work and it died and I was just so upset that I could not see the ending of this movie because it builds so great. Number seven, The Thing. Number six, now this movie is my favorite Rob Zombie movie. It's been my favorite Rob Zombie movie since I very first saw it. In my opinion, it incorporates everything that I like about Rob Zombie into one film, and that is House of a Thousand Corpses. Now, I can understand a lot of people don't like Rob Zombie films. I totally get where they're coming from, but in my opinion, the best version of what Rob Zombie can bring to the table is with a house of a thousand corpses. It's not really overly scary. It's kind of like this weird, bizarre core world. It's hard to explain, but there's really nothing else like it. And I didn't really enjoy Devil's Rejects as much. Devil's Rejects is a little more dark and serious versus this one is super dark and it has serious elements, but it's more kind of like a wacky, crazy circus versus 
the later ones, which is just like dark cussing just over and over and over like this one. I just love House of a Thousand Corpses. Like if you're going to watch a scary movie, I could almost always watch it to me personally. I like the cast. Just fantastic. I love House of a Thousand Corpses. All right, guys, number five. This is another one that I saw recently as well. And I guess you could consider it not horror as much, but I just absolutely loved it. Number five was Doctor Sleep. Doctor Sleep was one of the very few movies that once I got about halfway into it, I knew I had an epic movie on my hands and I was so into this movie. Very few times will I watch a little bit and I'll be like, they've given me so much interesting stuff that I just, I, I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen with this movie. So many great elements to this movie. I can understand that it's long, it's very long. And I would say the beginning part kind of drags the most. There's like three main characters with three high levels of power and the way that they balance the power between the young black girl and then the old witch and the Ewan McGregor. I just absolutely love that balance of power because you have this, the black chick going against the witch and you don't really know like who's stronger, what's gonna happen there. And then Ewan McGregor has like his own power, but he doesn't really wanna use it at all, doesn't even wanna acknowledge it. So like, is it gonna come out? Is it not gonna come out? I just really, I love Dr. Sleep. It's a long film, but it's one of those ones, in my opinion, that once you get into it, you're just gonna love it once you're halfway through. Number four, and I know it's just, I'm putting this high up on the list and I almost wish I could rewatch it now, but I'm just going off the feeling that I have when I first watch it, and that is, the original Grudge from 2004. I didn't watch any of the scary movies. I didn't watch The Ring. I didn't watch The Grudge. I had two separate girls tell me, one said that she was just terrified of The Ring Girl, and then another one told me she's terrified of The Grudge Girl. Um, I ended up watching The Ring. I thought The Ring was right down the middle, solid. I could watch it, maybe own it, it's solid. But I watched The Grudge and I just absolutely loved every part of The Grudge. The very opening scene feels just kind of crazy and sets you up for you don't know what's gonna happen. Two ghosts, there's one that's more scary and you see the scary one later on. And when they decide to use the elements, it's just perfect. They use it just enough to where it's scary. If they, if they use it any less, it wouldn't work. If they use it any more, it wouldn't work. And again, I really wish I could rewatch it because I'm putting this so, so high. This is the only movie that I've watched recently where I watched it 100%. I you know, gave it my full attention and I went to bed and I'm like thinking about that girl and it, it ne that never happens, you know? Like I wasn't really scared, I could go to sleep fine, but I had like half a second thought of like, dang, that was just so, that just got to me, that was creepy, you know? So number four, The Grudge. It's number three, I know I'm putting this one super high up, but I, loved this franchise. I fell in love with it the second that I first watched it. And I think I watched it for the first time in December and that is Scream. Now, for some reason, I thought Scream was kind of like a joke movie. I almost thought it was like half like scary movie. I think I had seen people parody Scream and it seemed just kind of like a joke and like it wasn't serious. And I just don't know what it was. I never wanted to watch Scream. It just seemed so dumb. I popped on Scream and I fell in love. I loved the whole movie. Apparently it's supposed to be like a horror comedy. I almost felt very few things were actually comedy. I felt like it was more like entertaining dialogue with a serious movie. And it was more relevant dialogue because I guess they're joking and stuff, but to me, very few times was I taken out of the aggression and the opening scene of Scream lets you know that it is a horror movie. It is really, really aggressive. Mainly that opening scene is probably the most aggressive scene in all of Scream. But to be honest, the second I watched Scream, I fell in love and I watched all four of them, right? I mean, immediately, like I love Scream. I looked up like the best movies that were similar to Scream right afterwards because I loved it so much. To be honest, it probably, as, as far as all horror, it should be like four or five, but for me, I just, I loved this movie. It'll probably go down one or two in the future, but for right now, I gotta keep it number three. Number two, now this is a movie that um, I should have rewatched before I, wa I, I made this video. I think I've watched it twice and I'm so happy that I ended up watching it back when it first came out because there's so many horror movies and they all kind of look similar, but this one is like a showstopper. I really wish I could rewatch it so I could make sure it should be number two, but that is the Evil Dead remake. I understand that Evil Dead is kind of based on Ash. He's based on this one character, and I think that's why people were turned off in this movie. Like the main funny character, the main guy is just gone, but you're gonna call it Evil Dead. This movie, 
throws it down. The possession just seems really like over the top and really good, almost as good as the original Exorcist. Brutal, but not brutal like Saw. It's like brutal in its own way. It's just like, like what I would want out of like a classic horror done recently, done with like the aggression that we've come to expect in the newer age, done with just, I loved this movie. Now I got again, I got to rewatch it to make sure I've seen it at least twice, maybe three times. And I saw it kind of when it first came out. And I think a few, few years later, and I just love it. I think it sets the record for the most blood used in one scene or most fake blood used in one scene. Fantastic guys. I absolutely love the evil dead. Please don't hate me for my number one. Please look at my top five. Cause I'm sure, you know, whoever you are, you're going to like whatever you want. But my number one for right now, and it has its flaws. I know it's the conjuring. Now, I've watched The Conjuring like a bunch and I've watched it actually twice recently. I watched it like three or four months ago and then I watched it like a few weeks ago. This movie is just fantastic, guys. It does so much within one movie and even watching it like, you know, three times, I still don't know exactly which scene's coming next. Like I know generally what's gonna happen. The way this movie moves is just fantastic. And the way they use the Ed and Lorraine Warren, their whole story, and then you have the family's story. They don't really meet till halfway through the movie. There's almost like a really, really nice romance with those two characters, as well as so much horror classic goodness. One of the only things, I don't say it took me out of this movie, but it just, it, it makes it not perfect, is the main witch character and a possession at the end. Those were okay to me. Like the witch was, mm, you know, they could have been crazier and scarier. And the, there's like a possession near the end and that could have been done a little bit better in my opinion it just it wasn't as like aggressive as say something like the evil dead the evil dead the way that the girl seemed possessed was way more aggressive and better than the conjuring but the conjuring had everything i mean it opens up with the annabelle story and then you have the main story which is the witch story and then you have lorraine getting attacked by this other crazy guy so like she's actually kind of weaker now so there's like these three stories and then halfway through they do something with annabelle for like five minutes it's just it goes everywhere all the time. It's just a fantastic movie. Not perfect, but it's gotta be my favorite as far as now. I know some people say The Conjuring 2 is better. I just remember watching it and thinking it was solid, but nowhere near as good as the first one. So I will rewatch it and I will rewatch some other ones right now. I'm halfway through the second Annabelle. Definitely wouldn't make this list, but. Thank you guys so, so much for watching the video. I appreciate it so, so much. I, hopefully you enjoyed it. I will be making a better video overall. Maybe I'll do it around Halloween or about, you know, maybe the beginning of next year or so, but this is my first list, top 10 horror. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. We're on the route of 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.